Hello guys, welcome back. So, sa video nito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano solve yung N sa permutation formula. So, let's start. For example number 1 natin, permutation of N taken 5 is 720. So, first, sulat muna natin yung formula ng permutation. Permutation of N taken R is N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay? Then, substitute lang natin yung value dito. So, N factorial n minus 5 r natin is 5 factorial is equal to 720 then cross multiply lang natin 720 times n minus 5 factorial now gagawin lang natin dito kasi naka factorial tong n natin convert lang natin to sa factorial so 720 is equal to 6 factorial So, meron ako ditong guide. So, mas maganda meron kayong uh, ganito rin or memorize nyo yung mga value ng 1 to 9 na factorial. So, yun lang. Palitan natin yung 720 ng 6 factorial. Then, naka-factorial na silang lahat. So, pwede na natin ma-cancel tong factorial notation. So, magiging result nyan is n is equal to 6 n minus 5. So, tinanggal na natin yung mga factorial kasi naka-factorial silang lahat, okay? So, naga, natatanggal mo lang yun kung naka-factorial lahat ng value mo. So, kaya kinonvert natin yung 720 sa 6 factorial. Then, simplify lang natin yan. 6 times n, 6n. 6 times negative 5, negative 30. Then, transpose natin. Magiging negative yung 6n. Simplify n minus 6n is negative 5n. Then, divide tayo ng negative 5, both side, para n na lang yung matira. Negative 30 divided negative 5 is 6. So, ito na yung final answer natin. So, pwede mo siyang i-check, i-substitute mo siya dito sa formula, kung 720 ba yung makukuha mo. Okay? Now, itong method na to is yung uh, long method. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung uh, shortcut nito, kung paano siya isusolve. So, isolve natin to gamit yung shortcut. So, nasolve na natin to kanina. Nakuha natin value is 6. Gamit yung long method. Now, ituturo sa inyo ang paano yung uh, shortcut nito. So, ganito lang. First, magsusulat kayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33
So, try naman natin ito. So, basta dapat, uh, four consecutive number. Kasi, four yung R natin. So, ganun lang yun. Five. Five times six times seven times eight. So, yung result niya is 1,680. So, medyo malapit na. So, try naman natin to. So, trial and error ka lang. Actually, madali lang ito, no? Uh, 6 times 7 times 8 times 9. So, ito na. Pag minultiply mo yung 6 times 7 times 8 times 9, yung result niya is 3,024. Now, yung sagot nito, again, is Pipiliin mo lang dito yung pinakamalaking number. So, yung pinakamalaking dito is 9. Therefore, n is equal to 9. Okay? So, isa pa para mag-gets nyo yung shortcut method natin. Another example, uh, p, n, uh, 3 is equal to 504. Okay? So again, n natin is 3. So kukuha tayo ng 3 consecutive number. Imumultiply natin, dapat result niya is 504. So 3 consecutive number. So 500 siya. Try natin 4 times 5 times 6. Ito. 4 times 5 times 6. So 120 lang. O lang. So try natin dito. 5 times 6 times 7 to 10 kulang pa rin so dito tayo 6 6 times 7 times 8 3, 3, 6 so hindi pa rin so nagtatrial in error ka lang dito no? 7 times 8 times 9 so ito na Nakuha rin natin. 7 times 8 times 9 is equal to 504. Then, kukunin lang natin yung pinakamalaking number dito. Pinakamalaki is 9. So, therefore, n is equal to 9. So, ganun lang yung shortcut method. So, meron ako dito ang tatlong problem. So, try nyo sasagutan kung masasagutan nyo. And kung gusto nyo malaman yung sagot nito, Mag-comment lang kayo sa baba and i-reply ko sa inyo kung ano yung sagot niya. Or, kung gusto niyo ng complete solution, pwede rin. So, by the way, kung meron pala kayong uh, problems na related sa topic natin, pwede siyang i-comment below para matulungan ko kayong masagutan. So, yun lang yun. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and share. Bye!